And I got a call from my little girl's dad stating that they weren't gonna let me in because there was an act of shooting on the fourth floor above where they were. We have just about every agency in Northwest Louisiana on the scene assisting us with this search, but we're still dealing with a monster of a building and uh, what, who we believe to be a very dangerous person that could be inside of this. A tense situation unfolds this morning following a shooting at Oshner LSU House St. Mary Medical Center. Good evening, I'm Jackie Jovic. That shooting led to a statewide manhunt for the suspect, and there is a lot to unpack with this story, so we are bringing you team coverage. Dan joins us now live from St. Mary Medical Center. Dan, what can you tell us? Now, Jackie, good evening. We know that for much of the day, it was a very uncertain situation here outside of the St. Mary Medical Center. The scene much different now that we know the gunman who opened fire inside of this facility is now in custody. Treeport police say 41-year-old Daniel Cole was captured at the Mississippi and Alabama state line. Now, according to Mississippi Highway Patrol Public Affairs, U.S. Marshal Service made that stop. It happened just after 1 o'clock. Cole was on the run for a large part of the morning after opening fire in inside of this medical center and forcing the entire facility to go into lockdown. I want to bring in NBC 6's Zionier Bird with me right now, and she has been out here at the St. Mary's Medical Center all day. Zionier, this was a fluid and dangerous situation for most of the day. It's very true, Dan. It really has been. And it all began this morning around 5.30, and police are actually call is actually considering this shooting as random. This is the unfortunately the type of situation that we've trained for for years, an active shooter type event. Just after 5.30 Wednesday morning, Shreveport police received calls of gunshots fired inside of Oshner LSU Health St. Mary Medical Center. Police say a man walked into the hospital and shot another man in the leg. So I'm not sure at this point whether this might have been domestic related um, or whether the suspect you know, was upset at a particular individual. Uh, and whether or not the person that, that uh, he was originally upset with is indeed the person that got shot. About one hour later, Shreveport police identified the shooter as 41-year-old Daniel Cole from Farmerville, Louisiana. With Shreveport police, the FBI, ATF, Louisiana State Police, and the Caddo Sheriff's Department joining in the hunt for Cole. And I think due to the overwhelming police response, um, we were able to, to you know, chase the suspect from the building, so to speak. We did not know at the time he left. We've now uh, since cleared the entire structure. By 10 a.m., a statewide manhunt was launched. Shreveport police learned Cole had managed to leave the hospital and carjack a woman in a nearby parking lot. Police officials say before noon, the woman was able to escape in Monroe and call 911 and be rescued by Louisiana State Police. At 1 p.m., police announced Cole had been captured and arrested at the Mississippi-Alabama state line. And Cole is being charged with attempted second degree murder and carjacking here in Shreveport. Dan? Scary situation for so many people inside. Zanira, thank you for that. Well, St. Mary's is a big facility, and the scouring of this building for the suspect had many people worried. St. Mary's released a statement about that, saying in part, today was difficult for staff, patients, and visitors. Safety and well being of everyone at our facility is our first priority. We take seriously, very seriously, and thank employees who acted swiftly in today's situation and they did act quickly well we want to bring in now nbc is jade jackson jade uh, patients were inside of this hospital and friends and family were trying to get inside and see them they could not do that that led to some tense moments yes dan so i was here this morning with those family and friends that were right here just a few hundred feet from the hospital and they said they had to wait and watch for their loved ones inside. Now, I did speak to one man who was inside with his daughter during this whole ordeal. Take a look. I woke up to like guns drawing on me, like police coming in the room with guns and everything. Like, I'm like, man, crazy. From inside the St. Mary's Hospital, while on lockdown during an active shooting search for 41 year old Daniel Cole. And then they just walked out. They said, stay in your room, lock the door, and that's it. They walked out. Crystal Stuman's six year old daughter, a patient inside with her father. She was driving up to the hospital to relieve him. I was right here pulling in when she learned what happened. I, I had got so, I got the phone call soon as I was right here, and he told me uh, what was going on, and the police directed me to come and 
to the parking lot. Jason Wilms had his sister, a nurse, inside. She just saw some other nurses running, and her supervisor said, y'all need to go in and hide. She's been in, in a closet, basically, hiding. With a small relief that he could still communicate from the outside. She's been just kind of texting me, and she's been just stuck in that. I think it's a med room or some kind of closet that they're in. After it was confirmed that Cole was not in the building, the mother and daughter, as well as the brother and sister, could be united. Dan? You no, know, that is good news, but terrifying mm -hmm. moments, no question for everybody involved. Jay, thank you so much. Well, Jackie, there are still so many questions left to be answered out here, but the most pressing question, of course, is why? Why would Cole come here at 5.30 in the morning? Why would he randomly open fire on a person that he did not know? Many of those questions will be answered in the coming days as investigators in this case get a chance to speak to Cole. He will be extradited back to Louisiana very soon. Reporting live now outside of Oshner LSU Health Shreveport, the St. Mary Medical Center, I'm Dan Jovic. Jackie, I'm going to throw it back your way. All right. Thank you, Dan.